Good morning class. Today we are going to make some network diagrams. Um, I found some free software that allows you to create one. Um, I'm still looking for an affordable one that will actually allow you to essentially create a virtual network um, that is simple enough and inexpensive enough for us to use. Um, but for now, this is how to create a logical diagram of a network, not a physical diagram, or a logical map, not a physical map. Um, and this is really, and, and while it doesn't seem that important, it actually is pretty important to have good logical maps. Because if you don't know how, specifically in a bigger office at home, yeah, you don't. You have your computer connected to your access point, and then that's it. Um, but being able to make one, and especially when you have a business or something like that and you have a switch you have switches you have multiple wiring closets you have multiple switches you have multiple cable runs it's really really important to be able to have a good network diagram and network map and that's something that me and mr vishnoff are working on now for the school so this isn't something that's supposed to be like oh just you know build a map that's it like this has um it's very important in in the industry to have good maps and good documentation. Documentation is huge because if you don't have documentation, you will be in a world of hurt if something goes wrong. So what I want you guys to do is uh, smartdraw.com is where we're gonna go. And what we're going to do, do not download the Windows. We're gonna use the online version today. And once you click Start Now, you will need to create an account and you can, oh, it's a free trial. And here we go. So this is what it'll look like for you guys. You guys will click start now. And this guy's for email and a password. You can sign in with your Was Scholar account or if you have another email address that you use for stuff like this, go right ahead. Um, I don't really care. Um, but once you do create an account, what'll happen is this will pop up. So popular templates, you can make maps. And this is just a really good diagram drawing software. Again, it's free, or at least the trial is free. So you can do all of these. So storefronts, workflow, all that stuff. What we want is we want this network diagram. So once you click it, boom, you have all of this stuff over here. So you can put a Samsung Galaxy phone, you can put firewalls, you can put um, IBM main, mainframe. Why it's specific to IBM, I don't know. And you can drag and drop these um, to to this and make make your own network diagram. A couple things you'll want to do is over here you'll want more symbols. Let's so if you want everything that I have here, so this is a, an example of what I would like it to look like. Um, but like the modem isn't in computers you'll so you have to look at a couple of these so internet of things contains the amazon alexa entertainment contains these two flat screen tvs wan uh wan has the can't remember i actually don't use anything in the wan one bridges and routers router router box switches um another router wireless router, wireless hub, hub, computers and servers. Where'd I find the modem one? So you can add notes, all that sort of stuff. Where? And so you can also, you can come here um, this is all of the things you can look for. So if you want clip art animals, you can do this. So you can create diagrams of your favorite animals, business, alphabet, law, money. So this is <laughs> boxers and money. 
Wow. Um, but we're not looking for that. We're looking for a modem. We know it's black, so it's not in there. Notice everything is in alphabetical order. Oh, order. There it is. So Cisco products. I need to add that library. And now I can drag and drop my modem. I don't know why it's black here and blue there, whatever. So this is how you would create a logical map. Now, what I want you guys to do for your assignment is to start like this. And what I would do is start with ISP, start with the cloud and work your way. You then probably have your modem. probably have a modem and then computers and server well no now we need wireless LAN so we're gonna scroll here WAN probably have a wireless access point and to the modem or you have you know a switch and if you have a switch you look for computers and servers. Is it in here? Nope, so then we're just gonna look more symbols. Wow, there's a lot. Telecommunications. So you guys will just find a switch. I'm sure this video is getting more boring by the second. Um, whatever. Uh, I'm just going to use this for now. So you may have a switch and then your access point because maybe some of you guys have a server or something at home. What you'll then do is you'll draw a line. Oh, let me throw. So we got a PC, um, Surface Pro, and a cell phone. So what you'll want to do, <clears throat> excuse me, is you'll then draw a line. Thusly, notice these black dots around those are anchor points. So now, even if I move this, it still stays connected. So make sure you get the anchor points on both the starting point. They don't show up at first. So you just kind of click in the corner, drag, boom. So we're going to do this. So now I have a, also a couple things. I can't, I tried to get, um, oh, this is what I wanted. Found it. So I want you to differentiate if you have different connections. So like it's since this is our switch, if something's connected wirelessly, I want you to use one color. If it's connected, um, oops. If it's connected, There we go. If it's connected by an actual physical cable, I want you to use a different color. So notice everything that is connected by, by an actual cable is orange. Everything else is black. You could do dashes if you want to simulate, um, you know, this this iPad is connected via wireless. I'll go line. No, that I wanted black line dashes. Line. 
just to differentiate um, what is connected by Wi-Fi and what is connected by um, an actual physical Ethernet cable. So, and what I want you guys to do is I want you to make a network map of your own home. How do I do that? I'm glad you asked. Um, so I've taken a picture of on your router. Um, again, if you can't remember how to get to your router, we'll do IP config and default gateway. That's the router you're connected to. So if you have a, um, you guys need to get to your modem, not your router. Your modem will have, everything has to go through your modem. So everything connected to your network should be at your modem. Anything physically plugged in. Um, if you only have a motor and a, if you have a modem and then a router and everything connects to your router, you're okay. Because I just want everything. Um, at my old house, I had a modem and a router and I had a couple things plugged directly into my modem. Um, because my modem and router sat right next to each other and I didn't want my TV on Wi-Fi, so I just had a cable going across the room. So what you'll do is you'll go to your default gateway and you'll look around. I don't know exactly where it's gonna be because everyone has a different type of router, but what I want you guys to do is to find your connected devices. Oops. Connected devices. So I've done that already with, I have a lot more than just this but I have a printer, an Ecobee, some smart plugs, a PlayStation, Echo, a couple iPhones. Um, and what I want you guys to do is I want you to take this information and I want you to put it here. So this is an, an example of what I wanted it, of what I want it to look like. Um, so everything with a physical cable needs to be, that's wireless, so I'm gonna make that a dash this is wireless so I'm going to make this a dash oh wait no my TV is not and I don't think you can select more than one at a time You can, okay. And then this is connected wirelessly. So this is kind of what I want to see. I want to see IP addresses. You don't have to do MAC addresses. That's just too much work. Um, my wireless access point. And I want to get, I want you to create as accurate as a diagram as you can. Um, this video is 13 minutes and you guys should spend at least 45 minutes putting this together. Um, yeah, and that's it. Um, this will be due Monday, 9 a.m. Because um, tomorrow's Good Friday. Hope you guys enjoy it and take some time to reflect on what Jesus did for us. Um, and I hope you have a happy Easter. If you guys have any questions, I have office hours today at 10 to 11. Um, and I'll talk to you guys then. If I don't see, if I don't talk to you, I hope you guys have a great day and a good week. Talk to you later.